Welcome back, everybody, to a sanity check. Once again, it's Skillet Sauce Ken 8 on the boys, and we've been talking about uh, the NFL and free agency for the majority of this show. I mean, are we going to stick with this train? Uh, we'll, we'll stick on a sports-related subject. We're going to yeah. gonna deviate because I'm sure, you know, most people of the people like, who, what the hell yeah, is this? Who tuned in for, for gore and horror. And, and, and you got a sports show? Yeah. I mean, come on, man. But, it's, um, it's once in a blue moon. I told uh, Skillet he was going to enjoy this one. Um, could have been worse, but... Or which could have been better, but is he's gonna like this one? So, um, your people, the uh, the the internet thugs, mm -hmm. uh, was taught a lesson. Uh, boxer tracks down Twitter troll and forces him to apologize. So basically, this boxer, um, good, good, good. What was the boxer name? Uh, he's an English boxer named Curtis Woodhouse. Okay. You know? No, I don't know him. I don't know. Um, so uh, a man on his Twitter, his name is uh, Jim Bob. Uh, decided to rip Woodhouse on Twitter by calling him things like a laughable punk and a complete disgrace. <laughs> um, so he kept this up. There's a myriad of tweets here. Um, uh, Woodhouse, you should just retire. Let's face it, you're not good. The facts, uh, the statistics prove my point in a handful of, of losses already. Um, uh, what's so funny is you put so much effort in sacrifice all that time and fail to defend your Mickey Mouse title. Mm. Uh, you know, just some, some just, just, just regular hiding behind your IP address. Right, right. right. Yeah. So, Woodhouse, and this is, I don't know why more people don't do this. Um, he went on to, I guess he started following this dude uh, on Twitter and started tweeting to his followers. And he asked people and said, I'll give you 10,000 pounds to anybody that provides me with a dress and picture of this man. Hmm. So he enlisted this dude's own followers to get up, get up at him, and um, but the dude was laughing because he didn't think it was going to happen. But oh, so the guy was like chuckling. He didn't think. Yeah, because of course he can see it because it's his Twitter followers. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> so somebody dimed him out. Uh, several people. Um, he says um, uh, some people were like giving him, I guess, little tips. So when the Woodhouse tweeted, "I'm 17 miles away, folks. Shit just got real." <laughs> Uh, so he got to this dude's block he was just watching the tweets and people were tipping him off mm. and got to this dude's block so Woodhouse tweets um, right Jimbo I'm here someone tell me what number he lives at or do I have to knock on every door mm. so he was outside this dude's building just waiting for someone to tweet his apartment address <laughs> did he have and his um, mouthpiece in <laughs> he might have. Oh, and but uh Jim Bob uh, acquiesced in time. I'm sorry. It's getting a bit out of hand. I am wrong, and I accept that. Oh, you bitch ass. I was only joking about. Oh, whatever. See, let's listen, listen. Listen. I, I, I didn't think you would be bothered. Thought you would take the, them as a joke. Mm. <laughs> you see, okay, is that the end of that shit? Um. Or did he say some more? Oh, there the there, no. That, well, that guess what? I, Woodhouse ended up saying just found that you can block people. Could have let me. Uh, Could have let me know earlier. I could have saved twenty quid on petrol. So basically, he was just saying, you know, if someone told me I could have just blocked this asshole. Yeah. You know, would have saved me twenty bucks on some gas to go into this dude's house to beat his ass. Now see, this shit. Well, you know, more people should do that because yeah. yeah. I, I, we all know I'm the guy that loves to, to look at the comments just to see how ignorant and stupid people can be and how much you know incendiary vitriolic things that people could say because they can hide behind their their internet persona. But, but you say you know people wouldn't dare say I'd say 95 percent of the shit that they say to people on the internet they wouldn't say in person because you get slapped in your face and possibly beat unconscious <laughs> if not worse you know so if not worse with some of the stuff that people say especially when they get into racial stuff and all the rest of stuff you're talking about you know catching a manslaughter charge on somebody so I'm, I'm actually happy this guy took it to that level because there should be some way I, I guarantee you if somehow they were able to say like how Google is making you use your own name how they try and make you mm -hmm. whereas I Obviously, I'm Skillet Sauce, but Google wanted me to use my regular name that I registered my email with. And I'm like, nah, I kind of like Skillet Sauce to be Skillet Sauce. If I'm going to use my real name, I'll use it for something else because I, I co-mingle things. But if everyone had to use their name and their photograph and all the rest of this shit, I doubt if they're going to be saying all of this racial crap and this, of that, and this not. guy calling. You're calling a boxer all sorts of names as if you can do better. 
Okay, and you know, it's one thing to say, okay, you're underachieving, but to call this dude a clown and all this other kind of stuff, you know, you're opening the doors for a person to, to, to not take that kindly. You know, so for me, kudos to this dude, man. He should have went and slapped this, slapped this dude upside his head, or at least hemmed up his collar. You know, cinch up his collar real quick or something like that and put the hand in his face with the tape on it. You know, <laughs> with the box of tape on it or something to put him under pressure because that shit is really, it, it's just, you know, this kind of bad behavior. And it, it's, I guess it's just indicative of the times that we live in. And you could say, well, you know, um, he didn't deserve it. But, you know, it, he was laughing. See, it's one thing if, if, if after Woodhouse said, you know, somebody, you know, help me find him, give me $10,000. If he had been like, yo, take it easy, man. I'm just, you know, just yeah. fucking around, da, da, da. Nah, he was laughing. He's like, yeah, good, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And all of a sudden, when he gets outside your door, so yeah. you just showed that you was a complete pussy. See, if he had, tw I would have had more respect if he was like, yo, you come in here, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna catch two shotgun slugs to the chest. That's right, I said it. It's a free country. I can say whatever I want. You come in here, you getting shot. So if he went out on some thug shield like that, I'd be like, okay. Now you're not taking it to, a, you basically called the boxer's bluff and took it to another level. You're going to trespass, you're getting shot. You know, okay, you know, not that I would actually want it to turn into a situation like that, but at least he could have went out, you know, you, you, you talk a Johnny Tough Guy shit for the whole thread, and all of a sudden you turn into a damn meow kitten. That just shows you how, how fake and fraudulent people are, how it's just, it's just it run amok, it's just people basically literally carrying on with this other persona, this persona that can be tough, this persona that can be whatever you want. You know, showing, you know, if you are, you know, a closet racist, now you can be an out-of-the-closet racist or, or whatever, the misogynist or whatever it is because no one can find you. That's a good story. I like that story. It is. I know you like it. Yeah, I, I get talked uh, shit about so often, it's ridiculous. Oh, you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Threatened, talked about. Oh, well, wait, like, so you mean on your show? Because of your show? Yeah, uh, yeah, because of the show. I've been threatened uh, numerous times. Oh, shit. Now, yeah. It's so funny because, you know what, I honestly thought when we first started doing this, that we would get threatened because of the kind of things, especially, you know, I know. No, there's not enough people watching. Yeah, not enough, not enough. <laughs> Sadly enough, you know, because I, I figure right. between the religious shit, you know, between you condemning all religion and me condemning fat people, then I figured <laughs> we'd have some fat Bible thumper coming to kill us both you, or something. You will. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I'm honestly, because I was honestly expecting the kind of stuff that we say and the way we don't pull punches that people would really get upset. And I'm not saying that I'm disappointed because I, I, don't, I, I didn't necessarily do this to try and get into some crazy uh, confrontation. Because if you remember that movie Talk Radio with Eric mm -hmm. Bogosian, somebody shot that motherfucker. And it's not right. like you don't have the address to where we are right. on the damn site. <laughs> So people look at me, we've commented that I'm riding a bike all the time. You know the goddamn time the show is on. Oh, they know what you look like, too. That's you know what I'm saying. You know what I look like. You know the address from the website. You know what time we get off the air, because all you got to do is stream, you stream on your phone. And of course, phone. if you hadn't put all that shit together, this asshole just did it. Yeah. Oh, you got to cut that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. But in any case, yeah, so I was like, yo, I was honestly expecting something like that to happen, but, you know. Hey, if it happens, hopefully it won't happen. But yo, so how do you deal with it when people get, act um, like that? Um, for the most part, I don't. I, you know what? I I take the the um the stance where if they're not saying anything, then that, then I don't mean anything. So oh, okay. I rather them talk because the, the crazy part about it is the people who hate me the most comment the most and you know comment on every single show. So it's like you. You're watching. Oh know? yeah, that's, how, that's like you're paying yeah, attention. You're right. So it's like, yeah. yo, if I'm if I'm so whack, why are you continuing to to, right. to, to like, check me or whatever? Like I mean, I, because I, I I just started switching to trying to get the the stream format pop, and then I, I had someone just recently, like my my one most recent piece of hate was somebody commenting on um, one of my shows, and and it was a, a older show, and their comment was something to the effects of, "Well, that's why you only have like seven hundred subscribers." Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I didn't even respond back, but yeah. I looked at his pages. This dude has like three shows. <laughs> <laughs> so it's one of those situations yeah. where, you know, yeah. it is what it is, man. At least they're talking. So you, I don't, I yeah, don't, I yeah, I, I get, yeah. I mean, you know, you're right. You're right. Like, even no matter whether it's sports or, or anything like that, like, for instance, you know, in, in here in New York, yeah, I love basketball. You, you, as much as they love Carmelo Anthony, as, as much as they're going to talk negative about him. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. No one's talking shit about James White. 
You understand? No one cares about the, the man on the end of the yeah. bench. You're, you're so, right. You're, you're, you're right. If so, you're doing, if you're, they're talking about you, you're doing so. Yeah. See, I just don't. You know, I just, I just don't want nobody talking no physical. I'm going to gun you down, shit. Because you know, I don't want to come into no place, and I'm not no thug. I'm not out there trying to, you know, get into this crazy shootout on the corner like back in the '80s or some foolishness. Not, not that I did that back in the '80s, but I'm just saying, I, I'm not trying to take it there. But you know, if, if it did come, if it, if it came in a way of friendly, not friendly, but just verbal, you know, back and forth confrontation, I could deal with that all day. Cause I, you know. Hey, I'm I'm good at that. I can do that all. Worst day. case scenario, just use your hips, Craig. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Purdue pops. Whatever. Um, and just so you know, you really are watching Insanity Check. Uh, Skillet's gonna close the show with an interesting story. Uh, interesting is a really little st crazy story, but there's so many jokes that I can think of about this, and it just reminds me of a, a line from I believe it's a, I want to say a Ghostface song. I'm thinking it's a Ghostface song, but I'm not sure. But it's basically the story is Oklahoma, woman arrested with loaded gun in her vagina. A, a police officers in Oklahoma found a loaded gun inside a drug suspe suspect's vagina during a raid. A woman police officer saw the gun's grip poking out from Christine Harris's <laughs> body. The handle is coming out during an intimate search. Bags of drugs were discovered, secreted in Harris's rectum. So dig this. <laughs> she had the whole... Kit and caboodle. Wow. She had the whole drug dealer's kit in her body. So she had the yayo in her ass and the Roscoe in her snatch. Straight did, up. Did she have like uh, the, 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 the <laughs> syringes the in the bullets in her in her cheeks? And the syringes and the spoons under her armpits or something? Uh -huh. <laughs> it was just ridiculous. Jesus Christ. So the 28 year old was arrested along with a second suspect, Jennifer Delancey, after a drug dog search of, the, search of their vehicle. Crystal meth drug, crystal meth drug paraphernalia, a pistol, and a loaded clip of bullets were found inside the vehicle. During the raid, uh, during the ride to jail, Harris stated several times that she needed to go to the bathroom. Said police, Officer Kathy uh, un, un, Unbuest, whatever, conducted a strip search of Harris despite the latter's objections. Unbuest said that she observed a wooden and metal item sticking out from her vagina, her vaginal area. The concealed weapon contained three live rounds inside and one spent shell. So she had a <laughs> spent round in there, which is, it would seem to be a very dangerous place to carry a loaded firearm, uh, County District Attorney Chris Ross said. If it goes off, it's only going one place. <laughs> Harris been held on weapons and narcotics charges. So, I mean, what, what can you say about that? I mean, literally, we had a story where the dude had 100 bags of smack in his ass crack. Now this woman had yayo in her booty and uh, uh, an actual loaded gun. And what is with the spent shell? I mean, did she shoot somebody and picked up the casing so she wouldn't get busted and figure, where am I going to well, hide I mean, this? It's a revolver, <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, so the shell was in the in the, in the, in the probably, barrel. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So she, I'm like, but, but what's, I, yo, I thought that was a ridiculous story. I mean, and I'm looking at this gun. I mean, it's, you know, I'm pretty, I mean, a baby can, can come out of a woman. So clearly you figure just dimension wise, but. I mean, look at look. I mean, if you look at it, the the the, the trigger, the hammer. This must have been incredibly uncomfortable. That's why and, she had to go to the bathroom. But and she has the stuff in her ass at the same time. I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, literally, you figure for the money. if she didn't have proper suspension and they hit a like, like imagine her driving down Eighth Avenue in Manhattan. <laughs> She'd have gunned her <laughs> fucking self. It's down. not an automatic. Hey, <laughs> listen, that's safe sex. <laughs> yes, um, oh, you damn right, man. She could never be raped because basically right. you try and rape this woman, you're going to get shot straight through your dick hole. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's called protection. Yeah, that, oh, that's <laughs> real protection. That's Holy right, folks. Sport. This is Insanity Check. Uh, oh, man. But that is our show. Thank you for <clears throat> thanks for being with us through yeah. our uh, football topics today. Yeah. Um, we're football men. It's what we do. And, you know, and yeah, so what? It's not football season. Big deal. Anyway, um, we will be back next week. Of course, once again, you can catch us on Facebook at Insanity Check, at Twitter at Insanity Check 12, and of course, our YouTube channel, which will have all of these wonderful stories, and a picture of the gun that was in this woman's vagina yep. on our YouTube channel, Insanity Check Radio. We'll be back again next week. Thanks for showing up. Take care. We're trying to make it